there's something sweet about this time of year. All that candy and all that love. So we headed to C's in San Francisco. Oh wow, it smells so good. To get to the heart of what makes Valentine's Day just so sugary. So here we have our- My Willy Wonka for the day, production manager Alexandra Rodella, who helps oversee the tens of thousands of pieces of handcrafted candy they produce every day. So this is where the magic happens. Yes. We take all the candy from the kitchen and we enrobe it in our beautiful chocolate. Next week, sweethearts will spend $1.8 billion on candy. That's 58 million pounds of chocolate and 36 million heart-shaped boxes. How big is Valentine's Day for you? Our highest single day will be February 13th. Mostly men on February 13th? Mostly men, <laughs> yes. We tend to procrastinate a little bit. Brad Kinsler is the company's CEO. You have some real romantics that come in. We have people that will bring hearts that they purchased 50 years ago. Oh, that's so sweet. The coupling of chocolate with the holiday can be traced as far back as the 1800s, when confectioner Richard Cadbury had the idea of taking excess cocoa butter and turning it into beautifully packaged eating chocolates. Some years later, the Hershey Kiss was invented. Russell Stover and his wife created the heart-shaped box. The rest is, well, a love affair. Do you feel like you're helping love all over the country? Who doesn't love candy? It's all about the rhythm, so it's coming fast. Now I know why Lucy started doing this. Be the that episode was actually filmed at a C's factory and is still one of TV's most beloved moments. Chocolate and love seem to always go hand in hand, but could there be something more to that connection? Is chocolate an aphrodisiac? I know a lot of people ask. It makes people feel good, and, and when you feel good, you know, good things are going to happen. For today, Kristen Dahlgren, NBC News, San Francisco.